Zip ties for the win. Let's go. So I was thinking I wanted to finish that hole in the hood today. I said last time that an idea would come to me and it did. My problem with that for today though is my fuel lines. They were coming straight off of the carburetors. Pretty much like right there on the edge of this hole. So let's see what we can find for 90 degrees pipe thread to AN fittings that'll fit on the carburetors and those fuel lines. Get them on the way. And today we'll crimp some ends on spark plug wires and get them installed. It's 90 degrees, sunny, light breeze. Perfect day to crimp some spark plug wires and order some AN fittings for these carburetors. Let's figure out what AN fittings we need and get them ordered up. I'm no expert at fittings. I've been known to order the wrong ones a time or two, so we'll do our best. So first I'm gonna find out the pipe thread size of this fitting that I need that goes into the carburetor. That's NPT or National Pipe Thread. And then I'll need to find out what AN fitting size that I need. So starting with the pipe thread size, I'm actually gonna measure the hole in it. So the inside hole in this is a quarter inch. So I need quarter inch NPT. So the AN fitting, also known as a dash fitting, are different, so they're a bit more difficult. They're measuring the tubing size. The AN actually stands for Army Navy. The sizes are based off a sixteenth of an inch. So this one being quarter inch, that's four sixteenths. So that would make this an AN4. If it was six sixteenths, or three eighths, it'd be an AN6. Or a half inch, which would be eight sixteenths, or an AN8. Now I need to figure out what size is fitting that was in there. I need to figure out what size this is. The threads are looking to be about nine sixteenths. So according to this chart, what I need is an AN6. So AN6 for six sixteenths or simplified to three eighths. I think that's what I got here, it's three eighths hose. I'm so confused. I think that's gonna be right. Let's order those and see what happens. And I'll put the affiliate link down below in case you need to find something similar. So now that we got that all calculated out, let's crimp some plug wires. I've got all these in the right spot where they'll reach the distributor. So what I'm gonna do first is take a piece of tape and mark each one before I take them off. Now I'm gonna mark these plug wires before I take them off. It's super simple guys. It's even on the passenger side and it's odd on the driver's side. So we got one, three, five, seven, two, four, six, eight. Got a bunch of different boots here. We're gonna wanna use these that have the funny little button on the top. We don't wanna use these ones. We're gonna wanna use these short guys. You can get a fancy crimper for these. I just got this one. I actually got this from a set I bought. It came with it. Actually, I got two of them. And these have worked just fine for me. I don't remember where I got these plug wires, but they're super cool. They're like the old cloth ones but they got like a protective coating on them. They're super cool. They're gonna give that, just that old hot rod look that I'm going for. They're red with little black and yellow traces. But yeah, I don't remember where I got them. If I figure it out, I'll mention it later. And I'll put an affiliate link down below if I can get one. I do, however, wish I would've got a roll of it instead of the pre-cut ones, because then I could've routed these any way I want. 
because by the time I'm done with this, I guarantee I wish they were routed a different way. Could always change them up later. No biggie. I gotta keep an eye on the time here, guys. It's the wife's birthday. I'll go somewhere and eat a nice dinner on the water. Everybody wish Lindsay a happy birthday in the comments. You guys know what's hot in Florida? So these heat shrink, and they're labeled with numbers. So you can label your plug wires, both ends. Makes it super easy for troubleshooting and installing. And they certainly don't look bad. I also got these plug wire protectors. They do a great job protecting your plug wires where they're by your headers. Plus, I think they look cool. And you can get them in a bunch of different colors. I like red. So these crimpers, you put them in a vise or a big pair of pliers. They work all right, but really, the crimpers are the way to go. I just don't have any. So these are the fold back kind. You can get them where you crimp it twice. Once you crimp the conductor, once you crimp the casing. This one, you strip it and fold it back and just give it one crimp. Strip about a half inch or so. Fold it back. I'm gonna want that folded back conductor to be at the bottom of this, like thus. It helps to kind of get it started with some pliers. Now I got my bottom portion of this crimper and my top portion. We'll just put that in there. You want your connector hanging out. You don't want to screw that up at all. It's top part on, top part on. Oh. <clears throat> you get it till both parts are touching and it really is easier in the vise. Can't forget to put my numbers on before I put the boot on. Putting this boot on can sometimes be a pain. I like to spray alcohol in there. And the reason that I use alcohol instead of a silicone lubricant or something that a lot of people use is that alcohol evaporates real quick. So I get it wet with the alcohol, stick the boot on, it evaporates and dries. It's gone. Right in there. I like to get these numbers on the boot itself. This straight one that goes on the plug, I go all the way up there just because it can. This other one, it only go a little bit. But it goes on there and I like to put it at the top this is going on the distributor so I can just look down and I can see it all my numbers should probably use a heat gun for this but I've been doing this for years I just use this and I know when it's too much all shrunk on there this is like fiberglass or something it's got a little ring in it I put the ring going away from the block and the sewn end on the spark plug side Hey guys, let's do some drawings. Let's draw out our firing order. So this is our engine here. This is the front. I know that because this is the fan. Distributor, not actual size. And what we said before, 
was the odd number of plugs are on the driver's side and the even number of plugs are on the passenger side. Four, six, eight. Now I know I'm at top dead center on this, but let's pop the distributor cap off and see which way that rotor's pointing. So I like that, it's pointing at the number one plug. That distributor could have dropped in where that was 180 degrees the other way and it would have been pointing the other direction. And if that was the case, I would have pulled it up and reset it only because I like to start that way. If you just took your number one plug wire and went to where it was pointing, it'd be fine. The thing just spins around. It doesn't care where it's pointing as long as it's on the right plug wire. So now that we know what direction that rotor is pointing, we're gonna call that number one. I'm also gonna put a little mark on the distributor. So that spins clockwise, and the firing order for that engine is 18436572. So that's how we'll set up our plug wires around it. 18436572. So we got our rotor pointing at one. We're just gonna match up the numbers all the way around. <laughs> All right, let's pop these on their appropriate plugs. One. All right, now we'll just go around that distributor, plugging these wires to it, just like that drawing we made. There's that mark we made. So that's number one. One. Eight. Four. Three. Now we're looking for number six. Five, seven, and two. We also have the coil wire but I'm not worried about that yet. So this is what I was saying. It's not gonna be easy to route those the way that I think they're gonna look good. Cause they're either too short or too long. But I think I got something figured out that'll look good for now. I got these brackets, Moroso. This one, I kind of straightened out and I'm gonna attach it to that header bolt like this. This one here, I'm gonna use that valve cover bolt, but I'm gonna have to give this a little twist so our plug wires are routed the right way. All right guys, I decided to ditch these all together. I'm not gonna need those. I got a different idea and it's gonna work out pretty good. We're gonna get it done a whole lot nicer without them. Are we gonna get something done around here or what? We're gonna make this look real nice and we're not gonna use any store-bought separators and loom. We're using zip ties. I'm using black because it's what I have and it'll look good on that. Zip ties obviously come in lots of colors. I could have used red. Maybe I'll switch it up someday, but I think the black looks good. That's looking like a mess right now, but we're about to make some zip tie magic. Start with these two. Just 
Take one around the both of them. Get it loose. Take a second one. Go around the zip tie through the wires. Make sure you put that zip tie head down. Nobody likes to see those. Just kind of tighten them up little by little. Grab your flush cutters, which you got from my affiliate link down below. Cut them off nice and flush. There's one. We're gonna route these back and around the firewall. And back that way. So let's get rid of this. The next one is gonna have all four plug wires in it. Don't be intimidated. It's easy. We can take our zip tie and wrap it around all four. Keep it loose. Then like that first one we did, we're gonna put a zip tie between each one. Keeping in mind what way we want those to route because once they get tightened up, it's gonna help hold it the way we want it. All right, let's do that same thing one more time. Right about here. I'm thinking one more right here and right here. Not too bad, right? There's a cover that goes on that, but I don't know where it is. It's in one of these totes somewhere. I'll find it. But for now, that's awesome. It's like you always end up with one ugly butthole of a spot. I think I got that fixed up pretty good though. It looks decent. What do you think? Zip ties for the win? It only took us, what, five days? Four? Four days to crimp and install some spark plug wires and order some AN fittings. There's just not enough time in the day. You know what I'm talking about. Lawn needs to be mowed. Laundry needs to get done did. But you know what? That's all right. Because one thing I don't like to do is put a deadline on my project. So I hope you guys continue to hang out with me in the garage because I love sharing that passion with you. This past year and some change has been a trip, I'll tell you that. YouTube is hard, really hard. Not only because of all that other stuff that takes up my time, but when I am out here goofing off and doing what I love to do, I'm filming, I'm moving the camera around, I'm editing, editing. I do a lot of editing. So if you're not subscribed yet, I'd appreciate it if you hit that button and come back, hit that like button, share it to your friends who you think you might like watching some weirdo goof off in the garage there's that super thanks button if you want to donate to the channel help out with the expensive consumables i go through or check out this link to some t-shirts and stuff all that stuff will help me keep doing what i'm doing but really all that would be cool but i just appreciate you watching see you guys next time see you out there